you see a ladder out there, don't judge that book by its cover. He could be anything. He could be a platform, a uh, roof, a uh, folding, a fixed, or a telescopic. He may not even know what he is or she. They may not even identify as a ladder. Hi, my name is Richard Dix, and this is How Did That Happen? A podcast where I look at everyday things or events and try to figure out how they came to be. Every week I will research one topic, and by the end of the episode, I hope to truly have the answer to the question, how did that happen? Hello, and welcome to another episode of How Did That Happen? This week we are discussing the world of ladders. Come along for the ride this week as I ask, ladders, how did that happen? Okay, alright, welcome back. Thank you for tuning in for another episode of HDTH. How did that happen? We're looking at episode 41 this week, talking about ladders. It should be pretty interesting. I didn't, I didn't know that much about them going in, so you know that, that's why I always pick, I pick, pick these topics. I try to, I try to pick things that I, um, that I don't know much about because you don't go in with a bias. You know, like I think I said in, later on in this, the, my first thought about ladders with this was just people using them for their houses. It wasn't about like where what people have really found ways all the different ways people have found to use them that's for the episode uh let's see before we get into it uh i did put on there on the twitter page it's pretty cool it's not quite to where we our goal or where we want to be just yet but good pods has rated hdth at least uh was it number 49 i think at the time in the history section and so that's something uh you know if, if you listen to this enough you know um actually i'm rooting for it to be uh the top 100 history podcasts on apple Podcasts by the end of the year and I've just been putting that into the air ever since we started, but we'll see. You know, I'm 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 happy with the growth. I'm not I'm I'm not uh, you know I'm happy for every I'm happy for every year that I can pick up and every everybody that's out there just trying to find out how things happen every week. I really am uh, thankful for you guys. Uh, so before we get into the topic, what am I watching right now? Um, I just watched that documentary on Peacock about the um, the COVID cruises. I know that's that's what it should have been called. It was called, it was called a the one hell of a cruise or a cruise from hell, but that's how I remember it. It was, it was the, the cruises that were occurring right when COVID was first happening back in March of 2020. And it was something that it, even, you know, when I was watching that occur, I was just like, man, I know there's some stories there. Uh, and it was actually really interesting because the majority of the people on those cruises are old. So it's like you're, you're hearing COVID through like older people and they say things like the COVID and stuff like that. And it is, it is, um, it's 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 interesting and in, in little bits like that are you know kind of kind of funny but you you learn a lot about they talk about how much they were drinking on there and how they kind of put limits on them because it got kind of wild got kind of kind of crazy um but yeah that just i just watched that um yeah that's, that's um that, that's that's pretty much it so yeah i've already babbled on long enough uh without further ado here is the episode on ladders so a ladder is defined as a vertical or inclined set of rungs or steps. And so I'm going to hop into, hop into the etymology of the word ladder, and it comes from the Old English uh, word, which actually starts with an H, halader, you know, which, yeah, halader, yeah, which means steps. And so like many Old English words, ladder comes from Old German, in this case, litera, leiter in modern German, there are uh, there are typically two types of ladders, and this is something that I I, re- I didn't really think about beforehand. But they, they break down into two groups. You have the the rigid, and then you have the flexible. So that's really the the whole the, yeah. That's that's the entire breakdown of ladders, uh, if you will. So the, if we're gonna get into the history of ladders, no one really knows when the first ladder was invented, which is something that pretty much everybody can agree on when all the all the articles and videos that I watched. Um, but they all kind of focus on this one specific point uh, about 10,000 th- 10, years ago in the spider caves of Valencia, Spain, where uh, they found this painting that shows two men using a ladder to access a uh, wild honeybee nest, um, but which you know was most likely to get the honey. And the, the painting shows a flexible ladder. We talked about the two different types, a flexible ladder that was made up of some kind of grass. Now, they said that multiple times, and I don't know, maybe it's just because I'm, I'm a bigger guy. The idea of, the idea of a grass ladder um, sounds like just like an oxymoron to me. It just doesn't seem like that would ever... There's, I, haven't, I haven't met the grass, I think, that could hold me, I guess. Um, let's put it that way. And while this is the first evidence of, like, you know, like the first pictorial evidence of 
the latter, most researchers are certain it's much older than this, and the roots of the functional design of ladders as we know them today can be traced right back to ancient Hebrew and Egyptian cultures. These are civilizations that developed and perfected it. Um, see, the ladder is also mentioned in the Bible, which is, which is interesting. Jacob had a dream, and in the dream he saw a ladder reaching from heaven to earth. I'm not sure about time in the Bible. I'm not gonna, that's a whole different probably episode. I'm not even going to get into that. But like it says, Jacob's, Jacob's ladder is mentioned in, in the book of Genesis. And this comes from a vision that Jacob had of a ladder that led all the way up to heaven with angels, angels ascending and descending and it constantly um, to carry out God's work. The significance of this dream has long been a subject of intense debate. However, what it does tell us is that ladders were known about at the time of the Bible, which like I said before, is significant and or insignificant depending on, depending on your view of time and or the Bible. All right, so next we're going to get to ladders in the Middle Ages. And I, like, when, I, when, I, when I got into this, I didn't really think about all the different time periods and eras in which humans have used ladders and how they've used them. When I, I really first, my first thought was people using ladders on houses, which obviously this goes way back, like we said, 10,000 years ago. Um, they were trying to use, they were using grass ladders to get to honey bee. Honey, what are they called? Honey, honey nests? Honey pods? Honey, I'm going to, I must sound really dumb right now. Uh, what are they called? I'm going to look it up. Hive. It's a it's a hive. I know some of you are probably screaming at your phones like it's a it's a hive. Like I, and normally I would know that. I don't know what it just it just slipped out of my brain. It was gone. Like I what was like I was saying pod. I don't even like I, I have no idea. I, but yeah, it's the the hive. They're using grass ladders to get at the hive. But we have gotten off track. Like let's get back. Ladders in the Middle Ages. So ladders were turned into tools of war during this period, and they were tools that could aid armies in causing huge amounts of damage to castles and, and fortresses alike. Ladders in this period were made mostly from wood, and this made it very easy to find the materials necessary to build them and assemble them in the field uh, because, you know, you would, you'd be walking through the, the forest, and what is the forest made up mostly of is wood. Uh, so during, during a siege, it was often the archers that would begin the conflict by firing at those atop the enemy walls. And when enough of them had been shot down and there were little to no enemy arrows being fired into the field, soldiers would approach with their long wooden ladders and they were made for scaling the wall after they shot all the archers and they all fell to their deaths. Yeesh, kind of a little gruesome. So they would, they would lean the ladders up against the walls of the castle or fortress and climb up in order to infiltrate and attack, and the scalers had to be fast, as they often were, um, and, and they had that, that allowed them to reach the top of the ladder at amazing speeds because I guess people were still trying to shoot them down and... Because, I mean, really, it's like it's not that an advanced level of a technology. It's like we killed some people, so we're going to, oh, ladder, and, pff, you know, up against the wall, and now we're just going to climb this ladder. You're not hiding it. You're not, you know, camouflage. It's just a guy. You've seen people go up ladders. It takes a second. So, I mean, like, you're kind of a sitting duck for a little bit. Um, of course, uh, like I said, they were also met with retaliation, and then some of that, what they would do, they would, pour, they would pour burning oil on these guys and also shoot arrows at them, too. And so sometimes you shoot, you, you pour, the, pour the oil, then you shoot a flaming arrow at a guy covered in oil. Boom, you got it like this, you know, this guy that's just a flame. Uh, that's probably where they got the word of flame from. Some guy was just sitting back and watching. Uh, they've been trying to take a castle in the Middle Ages. He was like, that dude is a ball of fly, a ball of, whoop, great, 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 great balls of fire. So for a long time, the only ladders that could be built um, or that were sold were made of natural materials like wood. This was because the widespread use of aluminum ladders didn't, wouldn't happen until the 19th century. Um, because prior to that, there was no waiting for the ladder, ma the ladder manufacturers to actually extract enough aluminum out of the ground uh, to make aluminum ladders. So it was just like the, te the technology wasn't there for them to have so many ladders of different types. Up next on our agenda is the invention of the stepladder. So in 1862, a man by the name of John H. Balsey, good name, received a patent for the first safety stepladder. This was in Dayton, Ohio. So if you're wondering, uh, the birthplace of stepladders uh, is Dayton, Ohio. Balsey was a uh, carpenter born into a family of carpenters that were originally from Pennsylvania. Stepladders had been around for some years before then, so he wasn't like the first guy to invent the stepladder. He was the first guy to like kind of revolutionize and modernize it and then actually put that on the books like legally, really. Um, the main change that he did was he turned the rounded rungs of a, like a normal ladder into flat steps, like the ones we have today. And this is the version of the step ladder that took off and, and became, you know, he became very wealthy for that. He also, let's see, he also had another part. Da, 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 da. Let's see. 
Yeah, like so. What he, an, an, another thing he did as well was he uh, he put hinges hinges at the top of the ladder, which enabled the back supports to be folded in order, you know, to like to fold away, basically, which is what we also had the same way. So he, he took a ladder, which was just ro- rounded rungs and no like fold away real principle. He basically added that the flat steps and also the hinges to actually fold away the flat steps. So he is like the godfather of of step ladders. So the next time you are getting on a step ladder or this this holiday season when you're putting the, the, the star on top of that tree and you're like, where's the step ladder? Where's the where's that John H. Ballsy? You know? That's just think of him. And so he actually yeah, he made a lot of money off this. Um and some of the letters some or some of the articles that I read did make point of mentioning that. And then if you've listened to this podcast enough, you know there are a lot of times these guys make these inventions inventions and then just die penniless and, and poor or of you know of disease or something and, and they don't get to actually like really reap the benefits of you know their actual inventions this guy made a lot of money um but in 1867 an american inventor with a great name henry quackenbush took out a patent for the first type of extension ladder and he created this invention at 16 old quackenbush and uh while he was still working at remington arms and then he sold the patent for $500 and went on to invent other items because he's always like, why are you always bringing up old stuff? I got all this new stuff. Like, seems like extension ladder. What do you mean? Like, I, I also make nutcrackers and I also make air rifles and I also may be the guy behind the BBs and BB guns. Like, this guy, Quackenbush, is just a whole story in himself. A couple episodes back, uh, there we talked about tools, name for people, and I just kind of started rattling off some, uh, some different tools and stuff like that. And I'm kind of going to do the same thing with ladders right now because I did not know there were so many different types of ladders. Now, I don't have the definitions for all these or really any of these. I just saw a list of ladders and I was just like, no way. So we have, we have the attic ladder. We have the assault ladder. We have the, the bridge ladder. We got chicken ladders, counterbalance ladders, telescopic ladders, folding ladders. I'm going to drop the ladders down and just give you the adjectives. We got fixed, hooker, pomper, pompier, platform, step, roof, orchard, Frame, vertically rising, X frame. I wonder if that's from like a, like a superhero ladder. But yeah, so that's just to just to show you that there's more than meets the eye when you just see you see a ladder out there. Don't judge that book by its cover. He could be anything. He could be a platform, a uh, roof, a uh, folding, a fixed, or a telescopic. He may not even know what he is or she. They may not even identify as a ladder. So uh, let's see. This next one I got here may or may not. Be I saw it in one place and I've never been to Europe, so maybe the five people that I have in Europe to listen to me could drop me a line and let me know if this is real or not. But they have ladder classes in the UK and in, uh, in the European Union, and um, they divide ladders up into different color coded sections based on their uses by uh, whether they are domestic or commercial. And I thought that was pretty cool, but I didn't really see too much more information about that afterwards. So I was like, this article's pulling my leg, so I don't know, but I'm interested. Uh, the next couple of listings we have, um, this, what we're going to talk about now is ladders in, in pop culture or like the ideas, uh, behind why ladders can be, uh, bad luck. And so it is believed that the Holy Trinity forms a triangle as it is three points, uh, just as the number three is seen as holy, making this shape a holy and sacred one. Of course, when a ladder is leaning against the wall, it forms a triangle. So the theory that goes that if you walk under that ladder, you are breaking the Holy Trinity and committing blasphemy, um, which is one of the worst sins possible. So you walk on the ladder, it's like you are just like breaking open the trinity that is the, um, what is it, uh, Jesus uh, Christ, the, the God and the Holy Ghost, you know, all together, that is the, the trinity. Some say that uh, the bad luck thing comes from a uh, ladder being propped up against a wall, looking similar to a gallow. Um, let's see, there's another one. This... This is an interesting one. It says it's possible that superstition originated in ancient Egypt as well. The leader, the, the, last, the, leader, the ladder was symbolic in this culture because it was used to help souls reach the afterlife. Pretty cool. And ladders will be placed in or near the tombs of the deceased so that they can t- make their way up to the afterlife. I'm not sure what that has to do with bad luck, though, now that I read it. I don't know. Um, oh, no, I see it now. I just got to keep reading. So by standing under one of these ladders, you would effectively prevent a soul from making their journey, and so they would curse you with bad luck for seven years. Interesting. And this last one for the bad luck, I had no idea was ever was really a thing, but it does, it does appear, in fact, to be a thing. The ladders have also been linked to the crucifixion of Christ, uh, with author and scientist Charles Panati, Panati, Panate, 
noting that many believe a, a ladder rested against the crucifix that Christ hung from, making it a symbol of wickedness, betrayal, and death. That just takes it a whole.